Hey guys, Barry here from Epic Cycles. Today we are reviewing the all new In Motion RS Super Scooter. That I'm happy and excited to see another uh, scooter using the, you know, the dual stem, similarly to the Wolf Warrior series, but much different, of course, because of course the Wolf Warrior series scooters, they use uh, the actual suspension forks as the stem, which is great. This is a different design because they have a similar suspension to that of, uh, let's say, a Bernie, right? But with the dual suspension, which gives it the uh, a, a lot more uh, rigidity and uh, a little bit more confidence, I'd say. You know, there, there is many differences here. Uh, stylistically, it's a lot different, rides a lot different. It's a lot lower than uh, all, most of these uh, other super scooters, which gives it a good, uh, good ride for the street. All right, so looks like we're maxing out at a top speed of 25 kilometers an hour on the scooter, uh, but I'm sure that's just in the settings, obviously. The scooter is brand spanking new right out of the box. So it's just, uh, again, initial setting. I know InMotion does this often uh, where you can increase the speed on brand new units through their app. So let's just pull over here and jack this baby up. All right, so let's increase the speed. I guess in settings. Uh, where do we go? Ride mode, no. Vehicle, I thought it would be in the settings, but it's, should be in, in the settings somewhere here. Stand by 10 minutes, vehicle calibration, no. Ride mode. X succeeded. Okay, maybe that's it. Let's try it. Let's give that a try. All right, so now we definitely got some speed after I changed it in the settings from P mode to X mode, which is uh, going to be your top speed. Um, just went down this little road at around 50 kilometers an hour and with still a lot of give. Uh, it's got a twist throttle, so a little bit different than what we're used to on the scooters, usually a trigger throttle or a thumb throttle. Um, it takes getting used to for sure. I'm still more accustomed to the trigger and thumb throttle, so for me it felt a little bit awkward, but I, I suppose you get, you know, like everything else, you can get used to it, right? So it gives it more of that uh, motorcycle feel that some people enjoy. But anyways, we're gonna take this uh, awesome new super scooter that was provided to us by InMotion for a, re a review uh, for a city, just a city cruise and see how it performs in the city. It's, uh, the scooter is a lot, what I like, it's a lot lower than most of the scooters, that the super scooters that we're used to, such as, especially like the Wolf King GTR, which is very elevated and high, which is great for uh, off-roading or jumps and obstacles. Uh, this one can, the height of the deck can be adjusted so it has adjust which is nice nice feature has adjustability so you can raise it a little bit more or lower it lower to the ground giving it more of a sporty uh, street riding experience right now it is significantly lower than uh, um, a wolf king gt gtr or bernie so i think it's going to be a different uh, different ride experience so let's hit the city and we'll uh talk a little bit more about this awesome super scooter. So the suspension feels very nice. Uh, similar, like similar style, I would say, as the Bernie scooter. 
but uh, it definitely feels a little bit different. Right now I think I have it uh, set because it does have uh, both preload and rebound adjustability on both front and rear, which is always a great option to have. Uh, you know, to, so you could set it depending on what kind of riding you're doing. Maybe on the street like I'm doing today, you want it a little bit stiffer. And if you're doing off-roading, you want it a little softer. So you got that option, of course. But it is a, a different feel. Like I said, it's a lower, lower uh, deck than uh, the other scooters. So it's actually pretty good for, uh, for handling. It feels nice and easy. I am getting used to uh, the twist throttle which is different than all the scooters we're typically used to riding, which usually have either a trigger throttle or a thumb throttle. Uh, right now, at the beginning, right off the bat, I really didn't like the twist throttle because it just felt awkward on the scooter, but after a few minutes of riding, honestly, I, you, you know, like everything, I, I got used to it and it's uh, pretty good, I have to say. I'm uh, starting, to, starting to grow on me a, a bit, for sure. And definitely has that uh, motorcycle esque feel to it right so that's always nice all right so now let's talk about range so this scooter is equipped with a 72 volt 40 amp hour battery giving it a whopping 2880 watt hour and this equates to what the manufacturer uh, claims of a hundred 160 kilometers of range in ideal conditions, meaning you know slow, low speed setting, flat grounds, and everything perfect. Um, but in a realistic world, there were some tests performed where people were going at high speeds and getting 70 kilometers of range. So you know just a little bit over half of what they claim. All right, so we're just along here, uh, the Humber River and I got a nice, uh, nice hill in front of me. So I'm not, I mean, I'm not wearing any gear today, so I'm not gonna go crazy here. I'm gonna probably keep it at 50, 60 kilometers tops. Uh, but I'd like to test out how this scooter climbs up this hill, at what speed, what torque. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down and come back up for the camera just to see at a decent speed. So let's check it out. Yeah, that was, uh, that was really nice. Went up smoothly, fast, and uh, took, took the hill like a champ, I gotta say for sure. The only thing is, I believe I might be in single motor. I think I topped out at 50, this thing should go faster. I didn't wanna go faster anyways, but I didn't feel that it could go faster, so I'm just gonna see. Uh, so to switch it to dual motor mode, I'm just used to the, you know, like the Bernese and they're always dual, they're always in dual motor mode. So I didn't uh, notice that, but to switch that you hold this, uh, this is the, they have a cruise control setting actually. So uh, I just read up on it real quickly, but if you hold this, you got the D now, so now it should be in dual motor. So it should be a completely different ride. So I'd like to try that test again. Let's do it. Okay, I can feel right away the dual motor now for sure, way faster. Woo! All right, that was 75 kilometers an hour, so a little bit faster than I'm comfortable with without wearing full gear, but uh, that uh, certainly chewed up that hill with, uh, with ease for sure. So that was uh, pretty, pretty exhilarating, the strength and power of these uh, super scooters. I think uh, third time's a charm, so now that I got uh, accustomed to this uh, dual motor, I think I'm gonna try it one more time. Let's do it. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome. Took me a bit to stop there though, if I gotta say, but uh, it stopped pretty smoothly. Anyways, just, uh, I was going really fast, so what do you expect? Just remember the scooter's fresh out of the box and fresh out of the box, you always gotta break in your brakes, right? So anyways, let's uh, continue our little uh, street ride now that we're in uh, dual motor mode and uh, ride around the city properly. Mm.
So as you can see, it's got uh, very, very bright lights actually. Got a nice bright headlight, also comes with this extra additional light if you need it, so a little light, but uh, a bright headlight here and some nice spotlights under, on, on the deck, on the front of the deck, and as well as on the rear of the deck. You got some spotlights here, very bright LED rear light, as well as uh, braking light, of course, as you can see, I'm squeezing the brakes here. So yeah, good, uh, decent, uh, decent lighting system to be seen from both front and rear. So it's pretty steady. As you can see, I'm doing something you should never do, which is ride with one hand on a scooter, very dangerous, but I'm just trying to see how the control of it, and as you can see, I'm going uphill, modulating at 12 kilometers an hour with smoothness and ease on this twist throttle. So, you know, good job on those uh, Raptor controllers there. Delivering the power just perfectly. Yeah, overall, I think this one, the scooter might take the cake on uh, stability and uh, smoothness. And of course, the stylistic look looks, uh, looks great too. Looks very different than what we're used to. So, has a lot of good things going for it, certainly. I just, want, I just wanted to mention one thing that's been annoying me a little bit. When I stop for not even a brief period of time, the scoot, even at a light, the scooter will not go. It goes into auto park mode, but that can be, that can be changed uh, through your settings in the app. So right now, you can see auto park time is 30 seconds. So that means if you're, you know, if you're stopped at a light, obviously you're going to be stopped there for more than 30 seconds. You want to increase it, you can click here. We're going to change the standby time because right now, as you can see, it's set to 30 seconds, which is not long enough. We're going to increase that. Oops, 62 seconds is still too short. Let's make it, let's make it 120 seconds. So that's uh, two minutes, it'll go into auto park and then you're gonna be, have to be forced to change um, the selector to speed one and so forth. All right. All right, so I took a little pit stop here just to reflect my thoughts, deep thoughts by Barry, and tell you my uh, first impressions about the InMotion RS Super Scooter. Uh, overall, it rides very nice. I liked the, the feel of it, the power behind it, and how smooth it rides, especially in the city with its uh, lower center of gravity. It, uh, it carves really nicely. I was able to do some carving very blissfully and uh, easily and um, I felt very sturdy all the time you know thanks like to the the dual uh, I do like the dual stem again different than uh, very different than other scooters because this is a, a true dual stem they're not the fork suspensions both great of course but this one as I compared it before has a similar suspension to the Bernie although different I feel like the Bernie is still a little bit of a softer ride but maybe that's something in the settings obviously they have dual hydraulic spring suspensions with adjustability for preload and rebound that i might play with a little bit right now before we continue riding just to make it a little bit softer to see how that runs uh, the throttle at first i was not sure about because it was that twist throttle which is uh, different than what i've always been used to for the last several years with uh, either trigger throttles or thumb throttles but as I said, it did, uh, did grow on me, and uh, the delivery of uh, the power to the motors through the throttle is quite smooth once you learn and get the hang of it, which, you know, it's my first ride, so I already kind of got the hang of it, so you get the hang of it pretty quickly. I do like uh, the app feature. Uh, InMotion always has great apps, similar apps that, you know, if you're, if you're used to riding their EUC, InMotion is primarily, uh, has been for the past few years, a leader in the EUC world. So now they're bringing in, uh, this is the first super scooter by InMotion. They had a few uh, entry level scooters as well. Actually, we have one as well that I'm gonna review uh, soon, maybe next, that they sent me as well. I forgot which model, I think it's, uh, the S1, I'm not sure what the model is, but uh, it's an entry-level scooter anyways. But uh, yeah, the scooter, uh, 
it pretty much checks off uh, all the boxes. I think for a, a super scooter, it's not as, uh, I don't think it's gonna be as good off-road necessarily as the Wolf King GT because it's not as high. But again, it has that feature where you can increase the height and lower the deck, uh, still probably not quite as high. Uh, tires are, are decent. They have, uh, looks like the CST, the standard CST 11 by four inch tires, similar to the ones used as well by uh, the Wolf King GT and the Bernie. Uh, yeah, feels good. The brakes are decent, not the, not the, best, not the best quality, but decent zoom brakes that uh, have good, good, pretty good stopping power and uh, smooth stopping as well. Uh, takeoff is really nice and strong, especially once I figured out how to go from uh, single motor to dual motor. Obviously, it makes a big difference. At first, I was riding a single motor, but going in the city, I didn't really notice almost that I was in single motor because I wasn't going anyways above speeds. I was doing speeds between 40 to 50, which I think I think it topped out at about 50 with the single motor anyways. I noticed it when I was going up the hill and I wanted to uh, go above 50 and I couldn't. So then I realized right away I must be in single motor mode. But once I changed that, it was a whole different ball game. Um, yeah, got, you know, you have obviously all the nice electronics, uh, cruise control feature. You have a very loud audible horn, uh, full signal lights, front signal lights, rear signal lights, um, and incredible, uh, range, speed that make it a real uh, pleasure to ride and capable of any, any type of riding and uh, checks off, as I said already, all the boxes. All in all, if you're looking for uh, a super scooter uh, to, to do your uh, commuting or just for some fun in the city uh, or a little bit off-roading, this is uh, definitely an uh, amazing contender. Uh, to add to the list of the already nice list of uh, scooters that we do offer. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my quick review and first impression of the InMotion RS. Uh, you can find more information in the description below. If you liked this video and you thought it was helpful, please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe below. Until next time, wishing you an epic day or night. Peace.